another video this has been something that I, I've been really excited to announce and it's finally here as you can tell um, from the from the video from the intro everything I am out here in Carlsbad California I'm getting fit for a complete new set of Cobra irons wedges driver everything and that leads me to this moment right here I'm I've officially partnered with Cobra on an equipment deal and I couldn't be more excited today is the first for the, today is the first day of getting fit transitioning over and I'm super excited so this is gonna be that this is gonna be the process it's super windy but this is gonna be the process and I'm so excited to be a part of this team and uh, just see where we can go from here and just I'm just pumped so let's get into today's video and I have Brandon who is one of the best club fitters in the country in all of club fitting so um, I'm gonna get over there gonna meet him and then we're gonna get into the action but thanks for tuning in and thank you guys for all the support because it's, it's because of that that I'm even able to be here right now with this amazing opportunity that is just, I'm so thankful for. So let's get into it. And this is the process of me getting fit for Cobra. All right guys, so we're about to get on with my fitting here. I'm gonna hit a, get a couple baseline shots. Um, Brandon, you saw my bag and he, I mean, we kind of walked through a little bit about what I currently have. Obviously my clubs now, I, I love them. I've had great success with them, but I'm trying to break the ceiling here. So, I mean, I guess from what you see in my bag right now, do you think there's going to be a lot of change? I'm going to say probably 10 to 12 yards worth of change and probably 20, 30 percent tighter dispersion that's without huge. ever seeing you hit a ball. <laughs> that's huge. Yeah. So that's, I mean, that's a great place for me to start, but I'm going to, I'm going to hit a couple shots here and get some baseline and then we're going to actually get into the fitting. I'm going to hit uh, a lot of different irons, a lot of different drivers, and then probably even wedges as well. And this is, this is a full bag overhaul, so I'm, I couldn't be more excited about this. Yeah, let's get into it. I'm gonna hit some, gonna hit some clubs here and then we'll uh, get into the fitting. So my first couple were, were my gamer there. The one we just hit was the... Uh, Forge Tech. Forge Tech. In, was it the same shaft that it Same exact right? shaft, the Nippon Modus 120X. And that's what I have in my current setup and all my irons, and I've been really happy with it. But that, those last couple irons were the first um, Cobra iron that I've tried. It was extremely stable. The face was staying a lot more square. I didn't know this, but I was battling center of gravity. In my current irons, the center of gravity is moved toward the heel, which promotes a closed face. Correct. Helps yeah, close the face. face closure higher. Okay. Yep. So, which I've been struggling with, so it's really good to know <laughs> that's gonna make a huge difference because I battle a hook with my irons when I miss it. So we're moving to a dynamic gold is what I saw. Yep, DG120X1. Okay, so I'm gonna hit this one a couple times and see how it feels, but that first one was really good. I, just, I no, can't. I can't believe. I can't believe how straight it's staying. Yeah. Like, that is just a perfect little draw. I mean, you Slap would know the numbers it. better than I do, but those appear to be pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> See, one point five smash. Yeah. Extremely good. Uh, max ball speed, launch angle is good. Peak heights right at ninety. More importantly, landing angle of forty-five degrees, which means you have stopping power and distance and tighter dispersion. Man, that, I mean, I'm, I'm 10 minutes into this fitting and I'm already so excited. I know, right? It's lit, it's so wow. much fun. It, it almost feels like how, how can it get better, but it's getting better. Lots of combinations that we still have to go through, but this is, this is really cool, I, I'm excited. Guys, I can't show you this, but I'm actually hitting, this is an unreleased club that I'm hitting right now. And uh, we're, gonna, we're, gonna see, we're gonna see what it's about. Right, I'm moving it back in here just because this wind's blowing so hard, but that last one, if you didn't hear me, I hit an unreleased iron. It was incredible. 
Um, can't, t can't I can't tell you guys anything about that right now. That's that's coming later in the year. But I'm gonna work through some more variations here, and uh, hopefully the audio is okay. I know this is kind of you know a little bit of a little bit of talking here and there, but it's kind of it's this experience is is so good. Where do we go from here? So there might be ideas about club fitting or or all of these things, and maybe a lot of different opinions out there. But when you have somebody that knows what they're doing and can look at the numbers and break them down super quickly. Like, I mean, what else do we need to do? Talk about set makeup and then move on to driving iron hybrids, fair with the driver. We have a track man and the numbers are exactly where we want them to be. What did you say earlier? Like, how do you, how do, you do better than perfect? <laughs> he asked me exactly what I wanted out of a two iron and I said 200 yards to 205 carry and we got that. And it's optimized, the spin is good. Landing angle is how you get stopping power. Right. Most golfers come in too shallow, that's why they can't move drains. Okay. So I prefer to see 45 to 47 degrees with a better player. Okay. That means you stop with your trajectory, you can kill the spin a little. Okay. Still get stopping power, but get maximum right. efficiency. On so the I can, you know, on a par five, I'm sitting at 200 yards and I can comfortably hit a seven iron and know that it's going to stop. And that just makes all the difference because confidence is everything when you get to these, like a higher level. I'm just super excited about this. So we're going to, uh, you know, set up a few drivers here and, and just see where we're at. Um, this is something that I've been extremely excited about is hitting the new Cobra drivers because I've hit a couple of Kyle's and I've been super happy with them. So here we go. Let's get into some drivers. All right, guys. So, you know, this is my current gamer, uh, Sim 2 with the uh, Speeder 666 shaft. Uh, the Fujikura. So I'm gonna hit a couple of these, get a baseline, and then we're gonna move on to uh, see what we can get out of some of these Cobras. So let's see what happens. So that's actually another interesting thing is, so with my driver now, so weight is forward, is that, and that, that actually makes a lot of sense because you guys know, and I know that like when my driver's good, it's really good, but when I'm a little bit off, I, I, I leave it in the bag. So that's actually really good to know. And I'm, I'm switching to the LTDX. Yes. And this has um, back, CG. back CG, which is center of gravity. So I'm gonna hit this a couple times, you know, see how it compares to, to the M2. I just hit what, 12, 15 balls with this driver? 15 balls. And what was the number that you said was when we started? In terms of spin, your current driver has a spin delta of almost 1600 RPMs between high and low shot. With this driver that I currently fit you into, your spin delta is up to 400 RPMs, or down to 400 RPMs from shot to shot. And that includes the first couple shots that I ended up scrubbing but it's 400 spin difference from shot to shot to shot, which means carry and total are much easier to repeat. Right. Because the spin's not all over, all over the place. That is just unbelievable to me. And like, maybe for, for someone who like doesn't under, doesn't quite understand that, what's the easiest way to like explain for somebody who has no idea about the numbers? Like The spin delta on the driver head makes it so the yardage is more consistent time after time after okay. time. Yeah. With your current driver, with that huge spin delta, you have a ball that goes a country mile, and then the next one's 20 yards short. Yeah. And okay. even though you still hit it almost in the exact same place, you lost 20 yards just because the spin is vastly different than it was before. Wow. Yeah. So typically, golfers who hit up on the ball want a little more forgiveness, a little more back weight. So you put the weight in the back, or in our case, the LTD X mm -hmm. back weighted model. It's the most stable and lowest spin for positive angle of that golfers. Right, that makes that makes sense, and that's that's huge because, like like I was saying earlier, when I'm, when my driver is really good, it's you know I can I can hit it right where I want to, but when when I'm just off just a little bit, it is is a club that I just leave in the bag, and that hurts me as far as my being able to take advantage of distance. So, this is really good. All right, so with driver, we are just really really pleased with all the numbers. The dispersion, the spin, the consistency, everything about that was, it was perfect. So we're now moving on to working on the gap between my driver and my two iron. And I'm gonna be hitting, this is a four iron, but it's a little bit stiff, stronger loft. So it's gonna be kind of, we're gonna see where it's at, but that's what I'm moving to is a four iron that's gonna be kind of a hybrid type of club.
What's that? 42 landing angle. Which is like good. You're 745. The thing that just that just is absolutely frying me is the center of the gravity in my old irons being towards the heel, which was I struggled with the closed face all the time on the track man. And now center of the gravity being in the center of these faces and like that was a really bad golf shot and it was a 1.45 smash factor, which 1.50 is the best. So obviously there it was a, not hit great. It's still it, it's not a huge miss that I have been dealing with because the faces the face is not is a little bit closed there, but it's it's almost matched to the path. So it makes all the difference and my confidence is already <laughs> going way up just knowing that I don't have to worry about the face closing unless I'm the one closing it. It's just amazing. That would have been a, uh, with your old ones, that would have been a hook. Yeah, absolutely. And the fact that it only went seven yards left. Yeah, and I think in that on there is probably more aggressive because I was actually aimed left of the target line. Yep. So, but still, it's just, it, that driver is the thing that, <laughs> I you were hitting that thing so like I was I was just like on a you know a course swing cruising and it was 180 187 to 189 ball speed and I, I didn't go at any of them like I, I this because I, I really want to get a feel of like what I would be doing on the course instead of just trying to max out my ball speed I can do that but in this fitting I want to I want to you know be as efficient as possible but we're gonna take a take a little break here made a three wood and then some wedges but this is just, this is awesome. The current iron setup. will be the four iron through the pitching wedge in our standard tech mm -hmm. with the dynamic gold that X100, right 120 gram variant. And then we're gonna do a driving iron in the tech X, which is our stronger lofted, more penetrating off the tee style golf club. Right, and it says four iron, but it's 18 degrees. Yeah, it's 18, 18, five. Okay. It's gonna be more of that two slash three iron. Like my current two iron is 18 degrees. So that's essentially kind of what it is. The, the thing that changed a little bit is it's a little bit shorter and it, 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 it spins a little more. So it's a 245, 250 carry, or kind of, you know, total. Unless I hit it off a tee, then I can get a little more out of it. But um, now we're moving on to a three wood, which you guys really have never seen me hit a three wood because I haven't had something that fits me well. So moving on to a three wood, LTDX. I'm gonna go LS just because you need a little bit lower spin in your ferro wood. Okay. Because you generate enough spin as is with okay. angle of attack. And Perfect. Else. This is a three wood and I'm excited because I've never really been, like I haven't felt comfortable with one. So I think we're gonna be able to achieve that today. Same, looks like the same shaft as the driver. Uh, just a heavier bearing. Just heavier. In the shades. Gosh, Tig. So that that was that felt really good. The carry is, the numbers are, are pretty close. I, I can't wait. I can't wait to like have these, put them in play, put them in, in tournament play. This is just extremely exciting. I can't I can't I, I can't tell you guys how excited I am for this opportunity to be working with Cobra. It's only it's only going to get better from here. I mean, this is just this is literally just the first the first time working like doing something together. Dude, this is just awesome. All right, guys. So I'm switching to wedges here. the The bag is almost complete, and this is it, it's really cool. But um, we're gonna try out some different shafts, some wedges, and kind of go through a couple, couple combinations there. But this has been this has been extremely efficient and extremely fun, and I can't. I'm so excited to to put these in play. Guys, here is the uh, the Cobra truck. Uh, this is all signatures and stuff from, I'm sure like Ricky is on there somewhere. But this is actually, this is dope. They got bags, they got everything that you need um, to be able to, I mean, this is like one of the tour trucks. They take this to, you know, and they can build clubs. They can do every single thing that you need to do here. Drivers, putters. Gosh, this is just awesome. All right, so that wraps up the fitting for today, guys. Brandon, dude, you're awesome. Thank you so yeah, much. You're very welcome. Um, I'm excited to be a part of this team, and like something that I'm excited about is as you get to get to know my game more and better, you know, this is only going to get better. Correct. And yeah. so this is this is you know what's the beginning of hopefully a really long partnership. So I'm excited, and I mean this guy, 
every every question that I had, it was answered, answered, answered. And I mean, the things that I was able to find out today about my game and about equipment is incredible. So thank you. Yeah, and uh, I'm welcome. sure I'm sure we're gonna see him again soon. But yeah, thank you guys for tuning in today's video. Peace.